Today, we're diving into a world full of chances, choices, and the magic of math. This is your introduction to probability. Probability is a measure of the likelihood of an event occurring. It may be expressed as a fraction, a decimal, or a percentage. A probability of zero indicates that the event is impossible, while a probability of one, or 100%, indicates that the event is certain to happen. All other events have a probability between zero and one. The closer the probability is to one, the more likely the event is to occur. The closer it is to zero, the less likely the event is to occur. The basic formula for probability is the number of favorable outcomes over total number of possible outcomes. The total number of possible outcomes is often referred to as the sample space. For example, if you throw a die to the ground, the possible outcomes or the sample space would be the numbers one to six. If we define A as the event that the score is an even number, then the set A would be the numbers two, four, and six. So the probability of event A occurring will be the number of elements in set A representing the favorable outcomes over the number of elements in the sample space S representing the total number of possible outcomes. That's three over six or one half or 0 0.5 or 50%. The notation A complement denotes the event that A does not occur. Using the same rolling of a die situation, let A be the event of rolling a four. The probability of A is one sixth since there are six possible outcomes and only one four on the die. Now suppose we wish to know the probability of A complement. A complement will be the set of numbers that are not four. That's a total of five numbers. So the probability of A complement is five sixths since there are five numbers that aren't four from a total of six. Notice that the sum of the probabilities of A and A complement is one. This rule can also be rearranged to be expressed as the probability of A complement is equal to one minus probability of A. Another example of this would be having a box that contains two blue candies five red candies and three yellow candies. A candy is randomly drawn from the box. What is the probability that the candy drawn is blue? We can use B to represent the event that the candy is blue. So the probability of B would be two tenths, since there are only two blue candies from a total of 10. We can simplify the fraction to one fifth what is the probability of B complement? B complement is the event that the candy is not blue. This means it could be red or yellow. That's eight possibilities from a total of 10 candies. So the probability of B complement is eight tenths or four fifths when simplified. Notice again that the probability of B plus probability of B complement is one. So you could have found the probability of B complement by simply subtracting one fifth from one to get the four fifths. So if the probability of a random event A occurring is one third, then we can know for certain that the probability of the same event not occurring is two thirds, since the probabilities of an event plus its complement must add to give one. Join us in the next video when we will look at the probability laws, mutually exclusive events, and independent events. Remember to like, share, and subscribe so that you can be notified. See you soon.